just wanted to make a brief report from the field today over at a customer's house and noticed a, um, a really common insect problem that we see on hemlocks called hemlock woolly adelgid. This insect blew up onto Long Island during Hurricane Gloria in 85, I think that was, and um, has devastated hemlocks ever since. I'll show you. This is a hemlock hedge here that is growing out of customer's house. Um, and if you get up close over here, you'll see, this is a really prominent picture here. There are these little kind of white cottony balls that are at the bases of the needles of uh, a very infested hedge here. Um, most hemlocks are susceptible to these Hemlocks that are weaker are more susceptible. These hemlocks are very old, so they have their age working against them, and they've also been really over pruned. They're very, if you take a look here, you can see it's a nice idea to make a hedge out of something, but hemlocks, um, if they are going to be hedged, need to be done very carefully. And um, these guys need all the leaves that they can put out because the leaves make the food for them in at least in part so um you can tell if the if the insects are alive these are little insects they multiply four times a year and even when they die they will still remain on the plant for a little while while they decompose they may look like they're dangerous but the way to see if they're alive is i'm going to just show you now if i can is when you squeeze them You'll see there's sort of a this gross stain. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Sort of a color, um, a yellowish sort of liquid that comes out of them. Um, they can be treated. The young ones respond very well. We spray them with an organic um, oil solution a few times a year. And they also need their um, home, their healthy soil needs to be maintained so we'll also um, take our compost tea, which is homemade, and we will apply it to the soil of these plants. So it's been particularly bad last year and this year. Um, it sort of gets worse and better, but um, it is very common. And it's not terribly difficult to control, except in much older and sort of um, environmentally or mechanically abused trees. That's it for today.